Hey Scrappers, welcome to another episode of Moose Scrapper. Um, Alright, so this video is a response to um, actually two um, subscribers. Um, the first person wanted to know how to remove IC chips or how I remove IC chips from circuit boards. Uh, IC chips would be all of these you know, black chips like this. Um, sometimes they contain gold uh, and you can sell them to places like boardsort.com or on eBay um, and you get a, a rate per pound for them. Um, and another uh, subscriber had asked me to do a video on what you look for on circuit boards, uh, things to take to take off, um, anything that might contain precious metals, etc. So let's we'll start off with the removal of IC chips. There's you know a few different types, so there's going to be a few different ways to do this. Um, you have the types that have pins on all four sides. Now chisel comes in very handy. So with these, um, all I do is I'll take the chisel and I'll scratch down all those pins on each side, just pushing down and it just kind of cuts them and then the chip should you know, come right off. There you go. So there's one IC chip right there. Now you do have some that will that are in sockets, so those will come off fairly easy, just like that. All right, so we have some of these little guys here. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a pair of channel locks. I have this Craftsman Robo Grip thing that works pretty well, um, and I just go right on top of it, push down to the board, and twist sideways, and it pops right off. I'm not prying or, or pulling up or anything. I'm keeping it fairly, um, keep this fairly flat and just turn and it pops right off. All right, other things that you're gonna wanna look for on circuit boards, um, granted I'm by no means an expert. I'm not gonna be able to tell you everything uh, that you should be able to, uh, to find that's worth money. Um, but you do have, you know, the IC chips you want to look in, connectors like this for any gold plating. You have uh, the tantalum capacitors, which are these little yellow boxes. You have, uh, let's see, these little things here have uh, gold brazed edges. You have uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors, which contain platinum, palladium, uh, silver in the solder. Now, let's see. Those are, are pretty much the major things that you're going to look for, uh, or at least that I look for, anyways, on, on on circuit boards. I mean, there's obviously, you know, you have you know the larger IC chips. If you see that little strip of gold right there, um, those are uh, worth some money as well. Um, so, like this one, you still have this. You have this flat pack chip over here. Um, what I'll do is I'll get my chisel and just get under it. And sometimes it helps to uh, try and bend the board. That way you break some of the connections underneath it. Makes it easier to pull it off. Alright. There you go. There's that flat pack chip with that little strip of gold right there in the corner. And if you take this black plastic piece off the top, you're gonna to see um, a bunch of swirls of, of gold foil in there. All right, well, that's about all I have for um, the, uh, the circuit boards. Uh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of other things um, that you're gonna find. And of course, you know, gold pins can be found in all kinds of funky places. Um, and there are more than one type of tantalum capacitor as well. Um, Original Feats has some videos on that. Um, those you can get you know, easily a hundred bucks a pound for the capacitors, which is pretty good. I mean, probably the best money by weight you're going to get for the components, um, even better than you know, gold plated stuff. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Well, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stop! Don't go anywhere! Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you think I'm doing something great, I'm doing something bad, what I can do better. 
All comments are great. Make a suggestion what you want me to scrap next. And see you on the next video.